Hello everybody, Alan Miller here. In this next short video, I'm going to be working with a gentleman who's pretty experienced in the dog world, but he's having trouble with this new to him female one-year-old golden retriever. She's extremely hyper, as you'll see in the video, and he's having problems with recall. As I want everybody to know, don't practice recall in an uncontrolled environment without using a long leash. Also, use a long leash that's not gonna hurt your hands of the dog and make sure that this long leash is attached to a collar. What kind of collar? That could differ from dog to dog or handler to handler. But what I want you to see is, we're not only getting the dog to come back quickly, but coming back specifically to front and or back to heel because he has aspirations of getting involved in obedience competitions. Remember, keep it simple, keep it easy, and keep training. Hand me a piece of chicken. I'm gonna to try to demonstrate first. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use the food obviously to attract her to me, but I also want her to feel free to wander around a little bit, okay? If she jumps on me too much, I'm gonna pull her up into me until it's slightly uncomfortable, but I'm not gonna say anything. I, ca I can, but you're not a novice handler. So if she jumps on me excessively, I'll climb down the leash and I'll just pull her up into me until she starts figuring out that it's uncomfortable to jump on me excessively. See how she wants to get back down when I pull her up? Yeah. But I won't explain it to her. It'll just be like getting a little bit too close to a horse or a wild boar. But I want you to allow her to experiment with getting out here and then practice calling her back or calling her to heel using your hand signal and your verbal command. Heel. Or come. So as we get out here, let her be interested in other things, but use it as an opportunity to practice calling her back to heel and calling her back straight to you, okay? Way back behind my butt and then right up tight next to me. And then I'm gonna wander around again. I'm gonna let the leash out so she can climb out of it. I'm gonna let her be free, if you will. And I'm going to start randomly, come, good. But I'll let her wander around, stop, good. Heel, I'm going to show her how to find these positions. But I want her generally to be free. So I'm going to micromanage this leash. Usually I'll use gloves, but I like these leather leashes that don't burn my hands up. Just in this situation, I want it to be a little bit thicker so it doesn't hurt you. 